Today on the Interesting Show, we have Tom O'Reilly uh, who's coming to tell us about IoT in Action, which is a, a series of webinars and on-site events that will help you understand how IoT, how Azure IoT and Microsoft IoT technologies will help you solve tough problems that you have in your industry. Thanks for watching the Interesting Show. I'm Olivier, your host. I'm here with uh, Tom O'Reilly. Tom, how are you? I'm great. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. So, Tom, can you please like introduce yourself to our audience? They don't know you yet. Sure. So, my name is Tom O'Reilly. I'm the GM of the IoT Device Experience team here at Microsoft. So, we're one of the oldest teams uh, here at Microsoft that came out of the old Microsoft Embedded business. Okay. And what not a lot of people know is that. You know, a lot of the MRI machines that you use or industrial valves, petrol pumps, elevators, a lot of those things actually have a Microsoft operating system on them. It's not just laptops and tablets. Got it. And as connectivity has become so pervasive through so many different industries, that embedded business really became the heart of what we consider our IoT device experience team. Got it. Got it. So you're here to tell us a bit about something that your team is driving, which is right. called, which is a series of webinars called yep. IoT in Action, right? That's right. So we have the IoT in Action series. Mm -hmm. It's both an in-person event series that we've been running around the world, okay. as well as a webinar program. Okay. And the webinar program, we really focus in on spotlighting particular industries by understanding from industry experts, mm -hmm. what are the challenges in a particular industry, whether it be energy or healthcare, or agriculture, any of those. Okay. And really understanding what are the market forces that are driving digital transformation in those areas. Mm -hmm. And then we invite partners to come in and tell us how they're making uh, use of these opportunities that confronted uh, and how they're building repeatable solutions to go and help customers. So it's kind of a bi-directional event, right? So you're basically inviting these partners to mm -hmm. talk to customers. There's kind of like these like three-headed discussions that are happening there. Exactly. And you know what we're trying to really do here is bring IoT to life. There's so many of these IoT uh, you know projects that mm -hmm. are often science experiments and aren't, are struggling to get passed into that next phase. In addition to that, one of the things that Microsoft has always done is really invest back into the IoT ecosystem or into uh -huh. the partner ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, we're building a whole bunch of open source reference designs that again, focused on these core industry verticals to help people really jumpstart, get faster at deploying and be able to use a lot of the repeatable code that comes up, how you connect a device, provisioning, data okay. management, security, those sorts of things. Awesome. So you were saying that these focus generally uh, for each of these events on a specific vertical or area, right? Right. And so there's one that's coming soon. It right? is. Which is about powering energy it is. Uh, and, and using Azure IoT and or Microsoft IoT in general, actually, because we're talking about uh, devices right. that connect to the cloud, right. but sometimes they're running Microsoft operating systems. Like mm -hmm. you were saying, like that your team actually historically was in that business of selling Windows Embedded and right. uh, and, and post point of service and other ones like that, uh, dear to my heart. Yeah. And <laughs> but uh, but that act business actually extended to the cloud as well, right? It has. So I mean, the reason why we're called device experience is mm -hmm. that look, we still work with thousands and thousands of OEMs in building their devices. Mm -hmm. But now it's trying to help them get that connected to the cloud. Yes. Even if they don't use a Microsoft operating system, mm -hmm. they might use different ones. That's fine as well. Yep. Uh, we have to be able to be able to inclusive in all of those things. Energy is a big one yep. at the moment. It's always top of mind when we're talking to a lot of companies about wanting to have you know, a carbon neutral footprint or be more mm -hmm. responsive in terms of their ability to take on a lot of the dynamic changes that are happening in demand for energy. Okay. Can you give us a little sneak peek of the topics going to be covered and, and, and discussions going to happen during that very day, during yep. that event? So look, we've got a, a great partner coming in, Apogee, okay. and they're going to help us sort of go through and talk about how they're helping customers through this digital transformation in okay. energy. And when you think about energy, you've got to think about downstream, midstream, and upstream. Okay. Downstream being, how do you actually source energy, whether that be oil well exploration, it could be thermal, there's mm -hmm. lots and lots of different areas that become that source. Okay. The midstream really becomes about the grid. So how do you actually manage the grid? And that's becoming more and more complex, particularly as energy becomes biodirectional. What I mean by that is if you think of solar, mm -hmm. during the day you might actually be Producing. having excess energy yeah. that you can contribute back to the grid, but mm -hmm. at nighttime you're drawing energy off the grid. 
So there's a huge amount about that midstream yep. operation and management as well. Mm -hmm. And then finally, there's the, 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 uh, the upstream area, which is the consumer okay. or the building. How am I using power in my building? Can I be smarter about it? Mm -hmm. A lot of the time when we think about buildings, it's often existing infrastructure. So going in and retrofitting an existing building or an existing home yep. or an existing appliance is something that becomes really important to understand that end-to-end -end view between drilling up you know, an oil well yep. or whatever the case may be and making sure my fridge is running properly. And, so I, and I guess during that event you're going to run through, you were going to mention these topics, mm -hmm. explain them and the approach that we're actually taking, the customers are actually taking, but also talking about the various products that we have that will help address these problems and challenges, right? Exactly. I mean, as I said, the energy industry has some really unique challenges, mm -hmm. but they're also adjacent to some others. So let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. We're talking about downstream energy, oil heads, yep. uh, drill heads. Mm -hmm. These drill heads now are actually packed with sensors, but you're not going to find more often than not a drill happening in an area where there's pervasive Wi-Fi connection, as an example. <laughs> so, you know, connectivity becomes a huge issue mm -hmm. of where that happens. Let's think about other areas like that. Agriculture is another good example yeah, yeah. where those same connectivity issues and challenges certainly come up. Mm -hmm. We also look at the, pro the, the proximity of repair, the proximity of how we're able to put more and more of the intelligence that's generated on the cloud yeah. and get that out to the edge. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think about Azure IoT Edge, our ability to execute ML models at the edge, our ability to limit the amount of data that you actually need to transverse yeah. across the network. These are all key challenges that customers are trying to really wrestle with. And there's no better way to sort of help customers with that than show actual examples and solutions that have been built by other partners. Also, awesome. I hear it's not just about, just about showing, right? There's gonna be some hands-ons as well, right? Yeah, so as we go through different, uh, different segments in the series, uh -huh. we are actually gonna have a few specials that come up on different products and so on. Okay. We are gonna show some demos. The energy one, we're really gonna, as I said, focus on what are the core okay. industry challenges? How is this company, Apogee, helping their customers solve it? And Microsoft has actually released an open source design that anyone can use. It's free, it's available on GitHub, uh -huh. where you can actually use these That's reference right. designs and create your own IP on top of them as well. Awesome. So when is the date for that? Uh, so the IP date for National this Center. one. Uh, hang on, there we go. There you go. So the first one that's coming up is going to be on the 31st of July, okay. so not long from now. Uh -huh. uh, you'll see here that we've got a whole series of these coming up. Yep. So we're going to be talking about energy. We're going to be talking about agriculture. Okay. And then recently announced, we also had Azure Sphere. And we're going to run a two-part series on that. One's going to be an in-depth introduction for people that are interested okay. in Azure Sphere. And then we'll follow it up with an unboxing of the test kit with the, or the development kit. Uh, with the guys who actually develop the product. So awesome. that's super exciting. Don't spoil it too much because we're going to talk more on the IT show about these other webinars when we come closer to them, right? For, for All, sure. Awesome. And if you miss them, actually, they will be available on demand as well, correct? That's right. So all of the webinars that we film, you can watch them live with us and that mm -hmm. way you can interact with the yep. team and put in Q&A. Mm -hmm. Or if you, if you don't get to see it live, you can go back and actually watch them uh, you know, on demand as well. Cool. Well, I think uh, all is said on the topic. We're going to have the right links that are actually on that slide. Yeah. And uh, we uh, hope you guys can make it for this first uh, IoT in Action webinar on the energy efficiency and leveraging Azure IT for implementing your solutions. Perfect. Thanks awesome. so much. Thanks for watching the IT show. And don't forget to subscribe.